In time value analysis, you come across with the two important principles. One is compounding and compound interest and the second one is discounting and discount rate. The principle of compounding and compound interest is used in future value calculations whereas the concept of discounting and discount rate is used in calculation of a present values. Now I'll introduce you to a few keywords or vocabulary that we use in time value of analysis that is uh, PV, present value, FV, future value, I, interest rate, INT, interest and cash flows. I will explain their relevance now. First I will draw a timeline for you. So this is your timeline and here you have a periods and here you have a cash flows. So timeline is a 0, then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 likewise and then you will have an interest rate and cash flows that is the present value and you will have a future value. Now here I this is interest rate then PV indicates the present value and FE talks about a future value and then CF is cash flow and then periods indicated as N and INT indicates interest amount. Now how is it we are going to use the concept of compounding is in the process of a compounding the interest that you earn on investment is reinvested. For example, you invested 10,000 in a bank and bank pays you 10% interest. So this is 10 by 100. So your interest amount is 1000. This is at the end of the first year. Now in the second year, your principal amount of 10,000 plus additional 1000 that is interest earned during the first year. So this will become your investment. 11,000 and on this 11,000 now bank pays you the 10% interest. So this comes to 1,100. Now to take a third year, in third year this becomes 11,000 plus 1,100. So this is 12,100 and on this bank pays you an interest of 10%. Now this becomes 1,210. So this we call as a compounding. In the sense your principal amount is uh, added with an interest that is whatever the interest that you earn that will be reinvested. Compound interest equals to interest on interest. Please observe the interest amounts here. In the first year you earned an interest of 1000. This is in year 1. Now when it comes to the year 2 your interest amount is 1100. And in year 3, your interest amount is 1210. So the, the difference is from here and here, this is 100. In the sense, your 1000 rupees when you reinvest it, it again earned 10% for you. That is 100 rupees. And here if you observe, the difference is 110. That means, the 1100 the interest that you earned previously on this you under 10 percent so this we call as a compound interest that means when interest is earned on interest we call that as a compound interest so these are the two concepts of a compounding and compound interest